Smartphone users have a new way to charge their mobile devices. That's without even plugging them in. They'll simply be able to place their phones on a wireless power transfer pad. And they won't have to wait long to use the new technology as manufacturers race now to develop a range of compatible products. H. Carroll's Mikio Tanabe has more. It seems like novel products using the new technology appear in shops every day. To charge this electric toothbrush, all the owner has to do is put it in a glass. Customers like this product. It doesn't need a cable connection. The technology is also used in smart cars in paying for bus or train fares. When the car is swiped over the reader at an automated wicket, electricity runs through the coils in the IC card. The process is called electromagnetic induction. It happens when a magnet is placed through a coil or moved away from it. Electricity is transferred to the coil. The same applies to integrated circuit passenger cars embedded with metal coils. The device that passengers swipe the cars over is like a magnet. When the IC card is close to the machine, electromagnetic induction occurs and the data is transferred. Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology came up with ways to adapt this technology. They added new features to the coils and circuits. Now, electricity can be transmitted from a distance 10 times further than before. This triggered the development of new products worldwide. For example, researchers at the University of Tokyo made floor tiles that can transmit electricity. An American IT company is working on a device that charges smartphones by placing a pad under a desk. Getting rid of cables, that's what we're trying to do. This device is embedded in the ground to charge electric vehicles. All a driver needs to do is park the car. But it doesn't have to be exactly over it. The producers hope to start sales within three years. If the technology is put into practical use, it will help promote electric vehicles and help sell them. Japanese researchers are also developing wireless charged robots. They are used to measure radiation in forests and other places where people aren't allowed to enter. After completing its mission, the robot automatically returns to base for a recharge. This saves human labor. The developers hope the feature attracts buyers. If wireless charging technology takes root in society, it will bring lots of benefits. It could transform lives. Wireless charging technology is getting smarter all the time. The day may soon come when homes and workplaces will be totally free of electric cables. Mikio Tanabe, NHK World. Uh, or a Tesla has already uh, marketed a, a sports a car model in the country. A full charge carries the model up to 502 kilometers. Uh, or a Tesla has already uh, marketed 